Hama Juventus just a couple of minutes away and the official lineup does not impress me one bit. This is just sad, guys. Chesney in goal, Alessandro and Quadrado at the wing backs, Chiellini and Bonucci in the center of the defense, Matuidi, Pjanic, Kedira in the center of the midfield and up front, Cristiano on the left, Bernadeschi on the right, Mazzukic up front. So no Douglas Costa, no Dybala, no Juan Cancelo, no Emre Can, and no Mattia Perin. Why do you keep feeling the Kedira, who is the greatest midfielder of all time apparently, since every manager before Allegri has started him? He is getting older, he is getting worse. Don't you see that? Apparently not. So he is starting tonight. I'm not convinced. And we will let Parma play their game. We will let Gervinho have a field day out there. We will most probably win this one, but not convincingly. Cristiano will be super frustrated. He will most probably not score today. It's just awful. But then, let's see what happens. See you at half time. One one at the break, and this is just horrible, painful, horrible, frustrating, and embarrassing. Parma are the better team. We might have the most possession, but we create absolutely nothing because we don't know how to do that. We just give the ball to Quadrado or Alexandro and cross, cross, and cross, and cross. Apparently, we bought Cristiano not because he can score goals, but because he is crazy at jumping and his uh, abilities to head the ball that's why we bought him apparently because what are we doing we're just crossing the ball into the box where Mandzukic and Cristiano are just waiting for the ball that's it this is our plan apparently this is the way to go because Palma are a dangerous team and we need to think defense first well excuse me Dybala, Douglas Costa, Cristiano and you still focus on your defensive duties even though we suck even at that because Bonucci just made a meal out of marking Inglese once again but yet we brought him back yet we start him yet we don't see Benatia anywhere not Rugani either because Bonucci is apparently a great great defender well two mistakes two goals Chesney was good thankfully and made sure it is only 1-1 and that we are not going down 2-1 at the half time. Pjanic silly tackles once again but apparently his passes are masterclass so we should just keep him in the team he should just keep starting as a deep line playmaker because that's where he is best we didn't even need Marquisio apparently <laughs> because Pjanic is more than good enough Cristiano can't figure out what he's doing. Is he playing a striker or is he playing a left winger? He keeps switching with Mandzukic. Why? Because he wants to be included in the play. But that doesn't help either because nobody knows what Cristiano is doing. There is no tactics. There is no mindset behind our attacks. Give the ball to Cristiano and let's see what happens. And that's it. This is our tactical mastermind. I'm not sure how we're gonna score our second goal in the second half probably through some set piece probably through some penalty or some fluke our first goal was also a fluke mind you yes it was a quadrado goal but come on there was a super super mistake by parma defense but then bonucci missed his mark and Gervinho, i told you guys he will be a dangerous player and what do we have one one at the break this is crap <laughs> Two one, we won, and it doesn't look convincing. Uh, it looks more of a random win rather than it was a controlled one, because <sighs> thank you, Parma coach, for subbing off Gervinho. If he hadn't done that, it might have looked completely different. Cristiano still goalless. Um, Dybala came on looked actually quite good so maybe he should start coming off the bench for once and uh, 
later on maybe he will deserve to start but at the moment it was just fine to see him coming off the bench he did very well yeah and our second goal well i gotta say i am impressed with blaise matwidi recently still another unconvincing win let's go to the player ratings real quick Wojciech Szczesny, I would love to give him a 7, maybe even an 8, because his save at the end of the first half was absolutely decisive, and in second half he was also great, so I'd love to give him a 7. Alex Sandro will get a, a 7 from me, I thought he was okay, but nothing great, nothing good, nothing bad either, so yeah, 7, and also his link up with uh, Manzukic for the Blais Matuidi goal, absolute beauty. Chiellini will also get a 7. Nice, solid captain as well, so a good start to the season for Giorgio, however, Leonardo Bonucci will get a 5. Poor, poor. I'm not impressed with him, uh, I think he has a very slow start to this season. Two mistakes, two goals as I said, and sloppy passing tonight as well, so Benatia and Rugani. You should be just up there, not far behind him to start alongside Chiellini. And on the right back, Quadrado, and this will be a surprising one, because I thought he would do bad, but I thought actually he did quite okay. So I will give 7 to him as well. Not as big solid 7 as it was for Chiellini, but yeah, 7 nevertheless. Further up the pitch, Pjanic doesn't give me anything, absolutely nothing. Just another baller, random passer of the ball. That's it. Six. Matuidi, however, we get an eight for me. Absolute beast tonight. Kedira. Six. Doesn't give me anything either. And in the end, Cristiano. Oh, come on, let's give him a seven. I will not give him an eight. I thought uh, there was something missing. Something, something missing. He did great, yes, but not an eight. Unfortunately, not an eight. Mandzukic, however, goal and an assist. And what a great one at that. Eight for him. Bernadeschi. 6. Disappointing, disappointing. Yeah, so another victory, 3 out of 3. I still miss this attacking display and I hate when we start sitting back after we score the opener. I just hate it and I hate that we always, always make it difficult for ourselves. See you for my preview next time. Fino alla fine, Forza Juve!